In this video, I'm going to find the values of b such that the differential equation x y squared plus b x squared y dx plus x squared multiplied by x plus y dy is equal to zero is exact. So given that equation there, to check if it is exact, I will look at the following. At the differential equation m of x y dx plus n of x y dy is equal to zero is exact if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Now looking at uh, this equation here, we see that the coefficient of uh, dx there is this m of y. In this equation here, the coefficient of dx is equal to x y squared plus b times x squared y. By comparison of the coefficients of dx there, we see that our m is equal to x y squared plus b times x squared y. I then go on and evaluate the partial derivative of m with respect to y. For the partial derivative of m with respect to y, we'll be taking x as if it's a constant. So I'll differentiate x y squared plus b x squared y with respect to y treating x as if it's a constant. When I differentiate with respect to y treating x as if it's a constant, we have the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to 2xy plus bx squared. Now looking at this equation again, but looking at the coefficient of uh, dy. The coefficient of dy there is n of xy. In this equation, the coefficient of dy is x squared multiplied by x plus y. So by comparison of those two, we see that uh, our n there is equals to x squared multiplied by x plus y. I can go on and expand that since we will need to take the partial derivative. It's easier to evaluate the partial derivative when I have expanded it. So multiply throughout by x squared, we would have x cubed plus x squared y. I now go on and evaluate the partial derivative of n with respect to x. For the partial derivative of n with respect to x, we are treating y as if it's a constant. So I'll differentiate this x cubed plus x squared y with respect to x treating y as if it's a constant. The result that we get there is the partial derivative of n with respect to x is equal to 3x squared plus 2xy. But for this equation here to be exact, we are saying that partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. So I will go on and equate these two partial derivatives there. And the result that we get is 2xy plus bx squared is equals to 3x squared plus 2xy. So that's the equation that we have there. And we look at um, the left hand side, we're having this 2xy. On the right hand side, we are having that 2xy as well. So if I take uh, this uh, 2xy on to the right hand side, it will be 2xy minus 2xy, which will give us a zero. And then we'll remain with bx squared is equals to 3x squared. So what we are having there is just an x squared on both sides, but the coefficient of x squared on the left is this b. The coefficient of x squared on the right is this 3. And therefore, by comparison of the coefficients of uh, x squared, we will be seeing that uh, the b there is equals to 3. So I'll write the b is equals to 3. So what we are having there is for this differential equation to be exact, b must be equals to 3.